Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Chashmish and in our today's video, let's see what is a traveling salesman problem and before that, what I would like to share with you guys is from this video, I will be uh, making the video in some different way like uh, than previous ones. So please do with, uh, watch this video till the end and let me know what you feel about this way of teaching artificial intelligence so that it will be easy for me to correct any uh, thing that needs to be corrected. I'm happy to get corrected. Okay, so let's get started. So traveling salesman problems in artificial intelligence. So let us always have this question. I mean, all of us have this question stating what is a traveling salesman person? So we all know we have lot of salesmen visiting our house each and every day and they will have some tasks too. So they have to, uh, they will be traveling from cities to city, place to place and with the time and money, they have to cover many places, right? So similarly, a salesman who is traveling from one place to another and has to come back to the same city uh, in such a way that he should not visit the same city again. So it's a waste of time visiting the same city again and again. So we, there is a problem for a salesman to decide which way he has to taken right so when i say a traveling salesman problem so we will have a common question like what is the link between this with the computer science right it's salesman problem after all it's a salesman problem then why we are seeing this in artificial intelligence or a computer science so traveling salesman person let's say in a computer which have which have a many thing okay many routes data will be flowing from one route to another with the various nodes right between various nodes so this is a similar problem like a traveling salesman so that is the reason we are taking it example like identifying the networks or hardware optimization methods and etc so um, in this section in a history of tsp i have given the history like when this traveling salesman person was identified by whom and what is there any uh, like paper publications which is related to traveling salesman person problem if you are interested so you can make a note of this history so usually i just give the history for a knowledge sake that it's in 1800 mathematical problem related to traveling salesman problem it was treated by Irish mathematician Sir William Rowan Hamilton and by the British mathematician Thomas Pennington Kirkman. So like that is the thing and if you are more interested you can study this on many uh, sites. So I will give the site details in the description uh, section. So do watch or visit that sections if you are interested. So next, the main problem with traveling salesman with respect to the students is solving a problem which is in an exam. So let us concentrate on that. Let's start that part now. So let's say you got a graph in your exam and what we need to do is we have to create a matrix out of the graph. Okay, I have done this here like A, B, C, D, E is a node. And similarly, we have the same, you have to write the same in a column also. You have to say as a write same in the row also. So what I did, A to A distance is null. And A to B by graph, I took as 7. A to C is 6. A to D is 8. And A to E is 4. So similarly, I have filled all the values based on the graph. If at all, it is given in a graph. Else, if it is given in a matrix form, it's well and good. You can continue with the next thing. So, it's like this, right? You have five cities and a salesman has to travel these cities. I have given the city name as a alphabetic order or alphabetically I have uh, described the city name. So, let us let me say like to say solving the problem. First thing what we will do is... row minimization so when i say row minimization you know it is something to related something related to the row right so let me say minimization 
in this word itself it says a minimum value let me check row a with its minimum value the minimum value is 4 so in row minimization what we will do is we will check for the minimum value in a particular row and we will subtract remaining values with that minimum value example for a row a the value minimum value is 4 therefore i will be subtracting all these values 4 with this all value i will subtract a 4 okay so let me see what is the resultant matrix let me show detail explanation for row a okay so a to a distance is null so you don't need to do anything for b value is 7 minimum value is 4 so the resultant value will be 3 right so 6 minus 4 that is 2 and 8 minus 4 is 4 and 4 minus 4 is 0 similarly so in the second row b the minimum value is 5 so 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 this is null 8 minus 5 is 3 5 minus 5 is 0 6 minus 5 is 1 similarly for c in the c 6 is the minimum value so it becomes 0 this becomes 2 null this becomes 3 and this becomes 1 right similarly for d the minimum value is 5 8 minus 5 is 3 5 minus 5 is 0 9 minus 5 is 4 this is null this is again 3 similarly in this it is 4 so 4 minus 4 is 0 6 minus 4 is 2 7 minus 4 is 3 and 8 minus 4 is 4 this is null so after row minimization the matrix resultant matrix which you obtained is this one similarly the second step will be column minimization so now you know that what is column minimization right already i have explained for row similarly you have to do it for column wise so let's see for one in a similar descriptive manner okay but remember for column minimization the matrix which you will be used to calculate will be the this matrix not the this matrix fine so you got this as a resultant now you will use this resultant to find the column minimum value okay don't get confused with this and this so now you have to forget the first and you have to take into consideration the latest matrix in next step also the latest matrix you have to consider and only for the first time we will be using this matrix and final result we will be using this matrix which i will be telling in the later part so let's get started with the column minimization using this so what is the minimum value in the row a that is zero right so zero anything minus zero results in the same value so let me write the same values okay three zero similarly for b what is the value that is zero that also result in the same thing there is no change in this for c there is a change right so two is the minimum value two minus two becomes zero 3 minus 2 become 1, this is null, 4 minus 2 is 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So for D, minimum value is 0, hence there is no change and you can write it as it is and for E, the minimum value is 0, hence there is no change and you can write as it is now you got the minimum value after the column minimization the resultant matrix is this one right hold on so here we got the final matrix in this format next thing we will be doing is that is a third step calculating the penalty 
of 0. So what I mean by calculating penalty of 0 is this one. So let me say like we have 0 and uh, we have 0 here also. Right? Wherever we have 0, we have to see the column corresponding to it and row corresponding to it. Okay? And we have to add all minimum value. The minimum value from the row and the column. Adding minimum value of row and column of 0. That is, C is having the value as 0. I have to check this way and this way to find out is any what is the minimum value and I need to add those minimum value to see the penalty. So now you check for the row. The minimum value for the row is 0. Minimum value for the column is 1. So penalty of this 0 will be 1. Similarly this 0. Minimum value is again a 3 and here the minimum value is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4, right? So you cannot consider this 0 as, as such, as a minimum value. You have to see whether it is again any other column or a row is having the value as 0. Then you can consider as a 0 as a minimum value. If it itself is a 0, then you cannot consider that as a minimum value. Fine, don't get confused in that term. So next 0 we have in this section. So again, the minimum value is 1 here and 0 here. So this is 1. And for D, again, you have minimum value as 2 here and 2 here. Then it is 4. And for this, it is 0. And here it is 1. So penalty is 1. So now, you have to see what is the max penalty for 0. That means which row or a column contains maximum. In this case, we have D and we have this, right? Again, here also D, D row or D column. So, you can strike any one here. That means, let me take this, okay? So, let me strike this one that is as a resultant. That means I have decided to go from B to D. Okay. Either I can take B to B. That is nothing but the same. But any one if you are striking and you have to note it down. Now what you have to do. Now this row B gone. This column D is gone. Now you have to write a matrix ex excluding these two. So let me see. Let me show you how to do that. This is the matrix. So I have removed B from the this and D from here. And again I am taking all value as it is. D2A is 3. D2B is 0. D2C is 2. D2D is not there d2e again 3 and e2a is 0 this is 2 this is 1 and this is 1 now this is the thing now again you have to check all rows is having zeros or not all row and all column should have at least one zero in it okay if it is there then fine Else, if there is a 0 in C, let's say A. A column is having 0. A row is also having 0. B column is having 0. C row is having 0. C column is having 0. D row is having 1 0 in it. E having 0. Again here E is having 0. In this case, again go with what? Again penalty. Okay. So you have to repeat the step 3. So, here, what is the penalty? This is penalty 1, right? 
for this penalty is again 1 so what is the penalty 0 plus 1 is 1 this is minimum is 2 and so um, guys you see what I uh, did as a mistake here so B to B I have already covered so I cannot put 0 here I have to put minus I mean that is null value I cannot consider that root hence this matrix is not having 0 in it so I need to do what minimization minimization this step you need to do row minimization for row D and column minimization for column B right so let me write a matrix e, A C G E and here A B C and E so first before writing or filling a other all other things what you need to do is fill that particular row and column so for D what is the minimum that is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 this is blank you cannot consider 2 minus 2 is 0 3 minus 2 is 1 again for row B what is the minimum value 2 so what is the value 3 minus 2 is 1 2 minus 2 is 0 and 2 minus 2 is 0 so now fill all other things like null 0 0 this is 0 nothing and this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 so remaining things you need to fill as such now again you find the penalty I'm very sorry for this confusion because I just missed this part that is the reason so don't do this mistake in your exams so you do this okay so now again you find a penalty this penalty is 0 this penalty is 1 this penalty is 0 this penalty is 0 and this penalty is 1 and this penalty is 0 right so now you see what is the highest one the highest one is a to a and b is also there and d and c is also there you can cut any one so i am taking a to e so i will traverse from a to e right i will be traversing from a to e now again write the resultant matrix now here a is not there a b c here C, D, E here. So the matrix I need to write it down. C to A is 0, C to B is 0, C to C is null, C to D, I mean D to A is 1, D to B is blank, and D to C is 0. Okay, next a to e so here a to e we consider so e to a will become blank and e to b will be 0 and e to c will be 1 so now you know right again all uh, row and column have at least one zero so you can go for a penalty check this penalty will be 0 this penalty will be 1 because here the minimum value is 1 and here the minimum value is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Here is 0. Here it is 0. So 0. Here it is 0 and here it is 1. So 1. So here it is 1. And here it is 1. So the penalty will be 2. So now you know the next path is clear that is D to C right now after these many steps you know what you have to do you have to remove that to d and e from your matrix and fill remaining this is 0 and c to b is again or 0 
and e to a is blank and this one is again zero okay so now you know this is zero this is zero this is zero this either you take e to b or c to a is fine so now let me take e to b and next i will be taking c to a so now your paths are cleared what is your path like i will be taking what are the paths that i will be writing here that is so that is b2 b to d comma a to e comma b to c comma e to b and c to a so now let us reorganize the paths okay that is first i will take a or a salesman take a city then he will cover e then b then he will go to d then he will go to c and finally he will reach back a now what is the value for a that is you have to put it from the initial one a to e the travel distance is 4 and e to b it is 6 and uh, b to d it is 5 similarly 9 and 6 so then the final will be 30 kilometer so this is the answer for a book problem similarly you need to solve the problem okay so uh, this is for today's video guys and if you have enjoyed this or if you find it easy please share with your friends and let me know your comments in the comment section below so that i will it will be easy for me to improve okay thanks for watching see you